Continuing our tour of projectors, this is the type of projector, not the actual projector, but the type of projector that was installed in the Roxy Theater when my dad built it in 1933. It had a standard simplex head. This was uh, a 1919 patent on the design and they were made up into the 30s. Uh, this particular model, uh, this serial number, uh, this one was made in 1925. Now, interestingly, it has a hole right here and that's to insert a crank. So in case you aren't using an electric motor or the electricity goes out, but I don't know how you get a light, but anyway, the theory went that you could crank it by hand as well if you wanted to. Or if you run were running a silent movie, you would sometimes run them at different speeds, a little faster on an action uh, sequence and a little slower on maybe a dramatic sequence. But uh, this of course ran, was in the sound days, was run by a motor uh, coming from the Miraphonic sound head. Now the Roxy originally opened with Western Electric sound, but 1938 the Miraphonic sound came out and the Roxy switched to the latest of sound reproduction and that is this Motiograph Miraphonic sound head. Of course it has the upper magazine, holds a 20 minute, 2000 foot uh, reel of film, take up reel down here. Uh, then more interestingly, or most interestingly, is the lamp house behind it, is the peerless low intensity uh, lamp house uh, that shoots the light through the film and onto the screen. So the peerless low intensity lamp house had a multitude of knobs to adjust everything. Uh, the main one to adjust both carbons, positive and negative, uh, and strike an arc with this. Then the other ones would adjust the mirror and the height and position of the carbons in relation to the mirror to get the brightest light out of the machine. So this is a lamp house that was used on this 1930s projector. Uh, this is an early model, peerless, what we nowadays call a low intensity arc lamp. So if we open it up, you can see it's a carbon arc. You have a positive carbon and a negative carbon. You put positive current through this one, negative current through this one, and we'll touch them together and uh, get the flame that the mirror will collect and shoot out the front of the projector and through the film. So we'll go ahead and strike an arc for you uh, and you'll get the sight and the sound. Now we're looking through welding glass here because if we looked at the arc directly, it would blind you. Uh, but you can see the flame in this one. So we'll light it up and I'll be quiet so you can hear it. Let it settle down. There we go. Set our gap. And now we have the light. And if you pan forward, we can open the dowser and it shines a light through the projector, uh, through the film and onto the screen. We'll go back to the, the arc is burning. To give you an idea, and this will be safe to do, we'll turn them off and then we'll open the door and it'll be safe to look at, but you'll see how hot these carbons get. And there's a carbon still glowing orange hot. And of course the joke at this point is, anyone for a game of poker? Bad projectionist humor. Check in on our channel in the future, as we'll be doing more videos on the projection booth behind the scenes. And we'll go back in history and we'll show how we used to do and how much more complicated it was to put a movie on the screen in the good, maybe bad old days.